hi guys welcome back to my passion with abd yes my name is abd and in today's video i would like to show you guys how to prepare iron mashes stew otherwise known as some um, designer stew or father stew so today we're going to get straight into our recipe but before we do that i want to welcome you to my channel if today's your first time clicking on my video to watch my videos i want to say a very big welcome to you please do me a favor by subscribing to the channel and do not forget to turn post notification bell on to my returning subscribers thank you guys for always coming back to watch my videos so let's get straight into our recipe one of the major ingredients in this recipe is green bell pepper so that's going to be the first on our list followed by four large onion bulb scotch bonnet and locust bean bleached palm oil eggs curry and thyme all purple seasoning garlic and ginger cubes which is optional nutmeg and pepper soup meat cut first off i'll bring my meat to a boil so i'm going to add my garlic cube my ginger cube my thyme my curry and i'm going to put all of that in a pot add a little bit of water but guys what i did i forgot to bring out my um pepper soup meat cut so it's like really frozen but hey we have to move so what i'm going to do is get all the seasoning you know mixed up and then i'm going to place my meat in the pot it's going to take time to boil but we don't mind i'm going to cut this video so i don't show the whole process so i'm going to add some onion and then bring that to a boil once you've boiled the meat and it is properly tender the next thing you need to do is to um, air fry or if you prefer to fry it you can fry it but in my own case i'm going to air fry and then i'm going to leave that on the side now i'm moving on to the next stage and this is me washing my pepper taking out all the seeds and washing them properly add my onions and scotch bonnet and bring everything to a blend now this is where the hard work sets in after blending you have lots of water in it but this is my trick to eat if you want to blend this just blend a portion and then you use that portion to blend the rest you know the first portion make it watery and then you use it to blend the rest or better still blend it whichever way you like and use a cheesecloth to you know take out the water and leave the pepper the hardest part in this recipe is the boiling part so after you have blended all your peppers you bring this to a boil make sure the water is properly dried up and the color of the pepper has changed into this color from the green color into this color so once you have this kind of color then we know that um, you're ready to go ahead to fry your pepper so once this is done i'm going to set this aside and place another pot on the stove and then take it up from there i placed a different pot on the cooker and then i added my ayamashi oil that is the bleached palm oil this is a lifesaver if you want to prepare this kind of sauce and um, you don't have the bleached one it will take a longer process to get the whole thing done and that is when you put your palm oil on fire and allow it to heat up till the color changes that's a very long process but you can easily get this in the shop bleached uh, mayamashi palm oil you can get this in the store um, in the african store where you get your food stuff yes you can get it there it's a lifesaver because if you have to go through the process of you know bleaching it yourself the whole house will be filled with um you know steam or is it smoke from the palm oil so what i went to what i did after this was to go ahead to fry my locust bean the reason why i fry the locust bean is because i want some of the flavor from the locust bean to get infused in the oil the oil itself is something <laughs> i don't know if you smell it you know that yes this is lovely so once that is done i fry that for like two to three minutes and then i begin to add my pepper mix that's the ayamashi pepper i begin to add it into the oil and allow that to fry 
I'm going in with my curry powder, my thyme, and um, my beef stock. Yeah, those are the basic things you need to add because if you go ahead to add some other um, ingredients, it's going to change the originality of the ayamashi sauce. So just the thyme, the curry, and then your beef stock. That is more than enough. And then you leave it to fry. To know if this is um, properly fried, you would realize that the oil has been extracted from the sauce, yeah, from the pepper. You begin continue mixing, and then more oil will begin to come out. That is the proper ayamashi, you know, lots of oil. Yeah, some might feel it's not healthy, but that's just the beauty of um, the sauce. So, what you need to do is just you have to keep stirring, you have to keep stirring, and then. At this point, I went ahead to add my pepper soup meat cut. Yes, I went ahead to add that and then I allowed that to steam for a few minutes. And after that, I went ahead to add my boiled egg. Yeah, I forgot to say in the beginning of the video, when prepping, you make sure you boil your egg. Your The number of eggs you add is dependent on, you know, how much more eggs you want inside of it. So I added a couple of eggs inside of this sauce. You can look at that. Um, if you want your, your egg to be properly soaked in this sauce, you use um, a fork to poke the eggs before throwing it in. So at the time you bring it out, it absorbs more of the sauce. And then that's just it basically it looks stressful but when you start eating it you enjoy it you enjoyed it and i really had a good time you know preparing this i was excited preparing this so thank you everyone for watching this video up until this time this brings me to the end of this video if you love this video please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you have any questions you can feel free to leave me comments in the comment box below let me know what you would like to pair this with as you can see this is what i'm pairing it with so thank you guys again for staying tuned with me up until this time and i'll see you all in my next video stay cool and be happy bye bye